through Wallara Council has voted eight to seven in favour of keeping the quote, racism not welcome signs. Is there a place where racism is welcome, I wonder? Where can the, if I feel like being a bit racist, where can I go and hang out? There's all these signs everywhere. <laughs> okay, Eamon Fitzpatrick, I know you're looking at me funny. You're our token non-wasp. Well, Joe, 30 gonna... seconds <laughs> on the clock. Can we blame the left for racism in Malara? Joe, we absolutely can, because the, reality, the world in which we now live means you have to call this stuff out, including when you're on your way to the shops, you have a little sign up, up on the street that says, no racism. The truth is, it's like people who talk about stop signs. I mean, if you don't stop at a stop sign, does that mean you're a bad driver? Yes, it does. But what does it say about everyone who stops at a stop sign? What about that? So Are we saying that they're bad drivers? No, we're not. So this is, this is what I don't understand, though. Like, is there a place where racism is welcome? Like, what are these signs actually <laughs> saying? Like, it, it, you're walking to work and you're thinking, gee, I was going to be really racist today. And then I saw this sign saying racism not welcome. And I thought, oh, I better not. Parnell. It's these... very important to have signs like this in a place when you've priced ethnic people out of the market. It's important <laughs> that you remind the remaining white people that racism isn't welcome there. <laughs> this is the thing. Wallara is the whitest local totally. government area on the no face of the planet. No immigrant to live there. Who are they going to be racist to? Todd Hayward, were you going to be racist today on this show and then you saw the guy and said, oh, sorry, there's racism not welcome on the blame game? <laughs> I was, but there's plenty of other options. I can be sexist, I can be ages, I can victim blame, there's no problem there. Joe, this says a lot about the left and the way they operate because the left want to make everyone feel guilty and ashamed about everything. Why, would, why a sign that says racism not tolerate? Why not a sign that says diversity celebrated or inclusion happens here? Or they just a sign that says no parking. <laughs> or a sign, better still, that says one hour parking because I was really late for the show tonight because I had to drive around the block six times just to get a spot. How about those signs? Because I want to stick up for diversity in Wallara. I was there the other day at a function. There were at least three different styles of boat shoe I saw at the function. <laughs> so there's no problem in Wallara. This is just, this is high-vis culture that's become a sign. We live in a world where if you put a high-vis vest on, you can tell people anything you like and they'll follow your instructions. <laughs> and now we've just outsourced that and it's just a sign now. Well, so the sign is a form of high vis. 100%. God in heaven. All right. Apparently, actually, it has turned residents against each other. So a sign that is meant to promote <laughs> inclusion and tolerance has actually turned all the actual residents of Wallara, who are, just to remind everybody, all white, against each other. Because maybe because they've got no one to be racist <laughs> to. What a terrible shame.